In this video, I'm going to teach you how the chord progression theory and how the number system all kind of work together. And so before uh, you watch this, you'll definitely want to see the lesson on the major scale and the number system and how that relates because it's basically built off of that. So let me put up the musical alphabet here. Okay, there it is, the 12 notes. So not only do the numbers in the number system, one through seven, represent notes, but when you're talking about in the context of chords, there's a few things you have to memorize and understand. So let me go over these with you. So the first thing is this. Okay, in the number system there is chords ranging from 1 through 7, okay? Chords 1, 4, and 5 are by default major chords. Chords 2, 3, and 6 are by default minor chords. So since these are the default, when you see one, four, five as a, a chord, those are going to be major chords. Two, three, six are going to be minor chords. There's no need to put a little M after three or six or two because you just have to learn that two, three, sixes are minor. And that's kind of the difference between like the Nashville number system versus kind of the number system we use here. Since these are by default that way, we don't even indicate it with a little m. Number seven, which is hardly ever used in a chord, um, they're used as a bass note, but is what's called a diminished, diminished chord. Um, so this is kind of how it works. Once you understand how to convert a chord chart into numbers by using the, the major scale. So let's say we're in the key of A, we're in the key is A. This would be the root, root chord, which is also the number one chord. Then you create the, you know, the whole, whole, half, whole, whole, half which will give you one here. B will be two, which will be B minor. Three would be C sharp or D flat, which would be either C sharp minor or D, sh D flat minor. Four would be D. If you're wondering how I'm getting these you got to watch the, the lesson on the major scale in the number system. Five is E. Six is F sharp or G flat. Seven is G sharp or A flat. And back to half would take you right back to the root, which is number one. So through this, here are the chords using chord progression theory in the number system. So um, one equals A major, two equals B minor, remember because two, three, and sixes are minor by default. Three equals either C sharp or D flat. You can call it either one. Technically, you know, um, musical theory, you know, majors might get all over you, but who, who cares really? All you care, all you really care about is the location of that note. Three would be C sharp minor. Four would be D major. Five would be E. Now for this lesson, we're just going to call it E major because we're only talking about three note chords. Six would be F sharp or G flat. Once again, you can call it either one. We're going to call this one F sharp minor. Seven would be 
G sharp or a flat we'll call it G sharp diminished okay now what you need to know is this represents chords it doesn't represent if you had a slash chord let's say a slash chord that said one slash three would be an A over three which would be a C sharp or D flat but because the slash um, represents only a note not a chord it wouldn't be a C sharp minor or D flat minor because the chord is only on the left side of this slash or the top and the right side is just a bass note so it would be C sharp and if you want to know more about that watch the lesson on slash chords and it'll show you but that's basically how the chord progression works using the number system